Okay, so in this chapter, we are now going to study about methods of proofs. Okay, which contains uh, the following things. First, we will study about rules of inference. Then we will study using these rules of inference, we will be building arguments. And the third topic will be methods of proofs. And that contains of three types of methods of proof. First will be of direct proof. Second will be proof by contraposition. And third will be proof by contradiction. So we will cover one by one topic and move ahead. So we will now start in this lecture, the first topic, which is the uh, rules of inference. So I'm starting the section one now. We will now write down some rules of inference and we will be using them to build arguments. So let me write down the rule first now. The first rule is called as modus will give you conclusion Q. This rule is called as modus ponens. In short, we can also write this like the in the way P comma P implies Q. We will use the symbol Q means the conclusion is Q. The second rule is called as modus tollens. You have to remember these rules to solve the upcoming exercises. Modus tollens, which is saying that negation of Q and P implies Q. The conclusion is negation P. This is modus tollens. The third rule is Hypothetical syllogism. Hypothetical syllogism. It says P implies Q and Q implies R will give you the conclusion P implies R. The fourth is disjunctive syllogism. Disjunctive syllogism, which says P or Q with a negation P. So P and negation P will cancel out and you will just get the conclusion as Q. Fifth rule is addition. These are rules of inference. Okay, remember. Fifth rule is addition, which says if you have P, you can conclude P or Q. So you can attach Q to it. Sixth is simplification. Simplification means if you come across P and Q, then you can conclude P or you can also conclude Q. So you can conclude any one of them. If you come across P and Q. The seventh rule of reference is called conjunction. If you have P with you, and if you have a Q with you, you can simply put a conjunction as output, which is P and Q. The eighth one 
is called resolution resolution means p or q and negation p or r so in this case p and negation p will cancel out and you can finally conclude q or r so these are the eight rules of inference okay so now we will start uh, with the second uh, section of this chapter which is building arguments and we will check the validity of the arguments so i will start with some problems so that it will be clear how will be uh, how we will build arguments and solve the problems for validity so let us solve the first problem now related to validity the question is check the validity it is freezing it is below freezing and raining now and the conclusion is that it is below freezing now so what we will do in such types of problems we will first write alphabets which will represent these statements so first i will write what is p p stands for below freezing and the second statement i will denote by q which is saying raining now now in the in the language of p and q we will write the above argument so what is the argument the argument is as follows it is below freezing p and raining q conclusion it is below freezing is this argument valid is this argument valid this is called argument is this argument valid so i will start with the left hand side p and q can i conclude from p and q p is there any rule of reference which tells me that from p and q you can directly write p the rule is called simplification so i will write here in brackets by which rule of re reference by simplification so we have reached the right hand side and this means that this argument is valid let's go to the next one check the validity if i study hard that is p then i get distinction which is denoted by q the next statement is i study hard and the conclusion is i get distinction so let me write this solution p is i study hard q is i get distinction let us write the argument what is the argument let's write the first statement now if i study hard then i get distinction means p implies q comma second statement is i study hard means p conclusion i get distinction means q is it valid so obviously i will start with the left hand side i will write p implies q and p this is same thing to say that p 
and p implies q. I have just switched the order. It does not make a difference. Does this lead to the conclusion q? If yes, what is that rule of reference? That rule of reference is modus tollens. Sorry, modus ponens. So by modus ponens, I get q. And which is the right hand side? So this means that this argument is valid.